Whiteboard Animations and PowerPoint Part 2. In Part 1, we looked at creating pictures using shapes and then using animations on each individual shape to make the pictures look hand drawn. And I've already started. I have my pictures made with shapes and I have each individual shape coming in with a wheel emphasis. And you can see that they are put together so one comes after the other. We can see the animation pane over here. What if we want to fill these in with color? We can add more animations. And this side over here, the animation pane is going to start getting busy. So one way to recognize one animation from the other is the symbol here. Notice the green star. That's the wheel animation. Our next animation is going to be color. And if we do a drop down here, we can see it's under the emphasis. So it's going to be yellow. And we're going to be using fill color. So let's get started. I'm going to click on the base of the house. And let's say that I would like a green house. So I would hit Add Animation, Object Color, and now I'll go here to Object Effects or, or Effect Options, and I'll change the color to green. And note what happens over here. We have the yellow star, so we can distinguish it from the others here. And notice the mouse here. It won't work until a click happens, so I need to change that. And I could change that up here in the timing, or I can click the drop down over here and go to effect options and note here's my color green and for timing I want it to come after previous I want it to happen automatically after the other stuff is done and we can leave the duration at 0.5 seconds but we can always look at it later and I'll click OK and let's say that I want the top of the house to be gray so I'll select the top here add animation emphasis fill color and I'll change it to gray. And let's go over here for more options in the animation pane. Effect options, timing, after previous, and we'll do 0.5 seconds again. Actually, let's do this in one second and we'll see how it looks. And click OK. And I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to finish with the colors. I finished adding all the color and I ran into a little glitch. I couldn't get the color to fill in on this one using shape fill so I had to use object fill because this is a free form draw here instead of the actual shapes like these are and I'll show you that one I use object color for that one and for all the rest of them I use fill color for shapes so let's see what it looks like I'm going to play it as you can see it draws first with the lines and then it fills in with color So let's say I want a background. There's several ways to do it. I'm going to use shapes for that as well. I'm going to go to insert, shapes, and I'll do another rectangle and I'll just draw across the slide and this will be the ground. And I want this to go behind the objects that are already there so I'll right click and send, send to back. So I'm going to do an animation to make this draw in and then I could do a second animation to fill it in, but I'm going to do both at the same time. So I'm, go I'm going to go ahead and fill in the color. I'll go to Shape Fill, and I'll make the grass green. And now I go to Animations, and I'll choose Random Bars, so it looks like it's kind of coloring it in. And that's what it's going to look like as it goes in. And this will be After Previous for the start. Then let's do the same thing for the sky. I'll go to insert, shapes, rectangle, and I'll draw across the top of the slide until we meet the ground. And again, I'll send this to the back, send the back, and then send to back. And I'll fill this in with blue. Then I'll go to animations, random bars. We'll change it to after previous. And this time, instead of hitting the preview, I'm going to go ahead and hit slideshow, this icon at the bottom, and we'll see how it looks. And that's our animation.